Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And many of you have asked me, um, you know, the reason behind Microsoft dropping um, a big list of Xeon 8 generation processors uh, that are, you know, capable of running Windows 11. And of course, uh, the question that is asked is, you know, is there something that changed that they are not compatible anymore and so on? And once again, you know, this goes to the um, very simple fact that Microsoft arbitrarily decides what it wants or not. And that is one case. So, for example, here I've got a Core i5 8 Gen. This machine is, of course, compatible with Windows 11. But, you know, it's at the limit. It's the, um, the 8 Gen is where the compatibility starts with Windows 11. And at any time, Microsoft could change that. You know, we look at the past. Um, there's been changes from time to time. I mean, when Windows 10, they dropped a certain number of CPUs at first. But, you know, with Windows 10, what was interesting is at least they dropped the CPUs that were really, really low-powered CPUs. You know, they, they knew that these processors were just way too... Um, you know, way too slow to really run Windows 10 correctly. In the case of, you know, the Xeon processors, it's really not the case. And in, in the case of, you know, 8 Gen CPUs, if they would drop that, there's no reason. There is absolutely no reason. And this is, once again, we wonder why, you know, um, where the bar is set and so on. You know, I get a lot of comments every time I post a video like this that, well, you know, because 7 CPU, 7 Gen or 6 Gen can do this, can do that. Look, look at all the computers running unsupported and that Windows runs fine. I got a 10-year-old Toshiba here that runs great on Windows 11. I think it runs even better than it ran on Windows 10. It tells you that the excuses that Microsoft gives about why they want you to start at 8 gen and so on and the minimum hardware requirements are kind of, you know, almost fake uh, because everybody on unsupported will tell you their PC runs fine. So if that was the case that something really was uh, not compatible or had problems, everybody unsupported would know. They would tell you. Nobody unsupported will tell you that they have a problem with Windows 11. It all runs fine. It runs fine on my machine. Once again, it's Microsoft just deciding, um, oh, well, you know, let's drop off this. Let's drop off that. And uh, we know that Microsoft has a lot of partners in the hardware, you know, Intel particularly. Um, sometimes you just think, you know, it's like, yeah, well, let's lend a hand to our partners. They don't sell enough hardware. How about we drop this as minimum requirements so that's going to force more people or more businesses to buy new hardware? Um, it it's, looks much more like that than it looks like any reasonable reason, um, you know, any reason why they should put the bar so high on Windows 11. There's, there's no real reason. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.